Alright, I'm going to show you how to texture a leather sofa in Substance Painter. So first of all, you bake your textures. Go in here, bake mesh maps, press bake, select your output size. And now you want to go over to Smart Materials, you can just type leather, and then all you do is just drag and drop. Okay, so I'm going to use this one, I'm just going to go into layers, open up the folder, and just change the base colour to whatever you want. I've got a reference here, so I'm going to use something like this. Alright, so I'm happy with this colour. Next, you're going to want to change the grain and the texture of the actual leather itself. I'm just going to go right click and add paint. We can now go and draw in our own details. So just choose a paintbrush that you think looks nice. Go down and we can change the colour of it. I'm just going to do the eyedropper. Now I'm going to choose a different colour. So a bit darker and I'm going to lower the opacity. And just go over it again. You can add sort of detail like that. Next, I'm going to go with the pillows. Find another smart material. So in this case, I'll type fabric. Now that we've chosen our material, it's going to right click, add black mask. And we're going to go to this, select the 3D selector, click on the object and then click that one as well. And now we can go in and we can tweak these settings further as well. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got my scene open up in Maya and you want to apply the textures. All right, so just open up Hypershade, look for your texture. It's going to drag and drop the files. You just want to connect them up. So out color, base color, roughness, alpha to specular roughness, normal. We need to add a bump map, out alpha and then out normal to normal camera. And this is how it looks in a basic render. Probably going to go back and tweak it again, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you like and follow for more.